recording. Test, test, test. We're good. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. All right. Here we go. This is it, everyone. Enjoy yourselves for who knows what will happen today as we celebrate 10 years of TMS. It begins in 3, 2, 1. Wait, something's playing. Yeah, I hear something playing. That's not supposed to play. Let's have that okay. not play. Okay, All let's right. do that again. All right. Three, two, one. Slam. Why is that quiet? I don't know. Okay, we'll do it again. Three, two, one. Slam shifters. Tough, hot, die-cast collectible cars you don't push around. Slam shifters. That's me seed fun. It's Harley and me and you in the tree. This is the morning stream. What better way to celebrate 10 years of TMS than to fubble up my keyboard four times in a row? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Not well, they can uh, they can put that on their soundboard, and then they'll uh, they'll show us how to do it. Oh man, that's a great old hark harken back. We should play that today. <laughs> Why don't I have that ready? Like that's I what know, I should have you know done. What? Let's just let, forget Schleicher, forget Babel Royale, Dunaway, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's just do nothing but play soundboard clips from the last sure, ten years. Sure. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can find that one actually. Okay. Okay. Here. No, that's. Not see how it. close I was to it. Uh, what? Uh, Adam Curry. Curry. Look for Dvorak. Uh, uh, what's for... Uh, here's one. And what's MC Hammer doing? You know the guy's got talent. <laughs> that's not the one we want. <laughs> the fish curry is still open. <laughs> the fish curry. No, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> Dvorak. I don't know where I put this. Really? Uh, yeah, I don't know where I put that. Uh, see, I'm not oh, prepared. Soundboard. Look for the word soundboard. Uh. Okay. I got one clip. We'll see what it is. The Sega Genesis has blast processing. That's not it. That no, right there. that's under soundboard? Yeah, that's all I got. I don't know what I called it. Ah! All right, well, don't worry about it, you guys. Oh, I know what it is. No, and that's not it. I don't know where it is. So look, hey, this is how it's going to be. We're celebrating 10 years of TMS. The thing started in 2011. Mm -hmm. I'm completely mm -hmm. ill-prepared for any kind of special anything today. We have a, like a really yeah, cool thing. Yeah, I mean, thing. it really isn't. This is, yeah. yeah. I it's mean, just a show. Our special is that we're going to continue to provide a great show. I mean, we have some stuff today yeah, that is things. different than things we've done before sure. to celebrate. So it's not like we're, we're you know, completely we have two major blowing things. off the anniversary. We have two major things, and, and they're both made by people that aren't us. So... Oh, I know. They're great. It's kind of nice, right? We didn't have to make them. Mm -hmm. Someone else made them. Mm -hmm. And now we mm -hmm. just, it's like someone made sweet rolls. We just have to eat them. We put them on the plate and serve them. Right. But somebody else makes them. Somebody else the baked best. them, yeah. stirred the thing, yeah. put the stuff in. I don't know how you make sweet rolls. <laughs> Whatever you do. <laughs> Whatever you do to make a sweet roll, they did Whatever it. Whatever you do. Yeah. yeah, they did that. And uh, it's all good. So anyway, welcome to the show, everybody. Happy 10 years. <laughs> 10 years actually happened over the weekend, so... Uh, Gosh, what day was it? Did we decide it was 20... It was yesterday. It was the 25th, uh, 24th. 4th. January 24th. Mm -hmm. 25th? Yeah, yeah, you're right. 24th. Uh, that would have been... Um, I think it was a, that landed on a Monday in 2011, I think. Did we, we started, really? We did our first episode on a Monday? We, I think um, we did. I think we tried Came in like, off a weekend and just went right into it. I think we tried to like kick it off the way that the show would be you know, weekly structured right away, but I, I could be misremembering that. Mm -hmm. But I've been doing a lot of thinking about it, and there's a there's a lot of history there, man. A lot of stuff happened mm -hmm. in ten freaking years, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it went fast. Uh, mm -hmm. This beard I'm growing is is a little wider than it used to be. <laughs> Mine would be uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> word for the stuff I put in it. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that, but my wife says it'll look like a face toupee, so I'm not. She's well, the problem is that your. Um, you 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 tend more blonde anyway. Yeah. Like your hair color is, is lighter. Yeah. So I do it because the mustache stays dark brown. Don't know why. Uh, there's a little bit of there's a couple gray hairs in there, but for the most part, it's pretty. It stays pretty dark brown. But sure. the beard yeah. just goes and is like um, uh, a lot of gray, like sixty percent gray, and then some dark brown. So I'm like, you know what? I'll I'll just. I'll just darken the beard with stuff that's not supposed to be used on on the face, whatever. Sure, sure. And yeah. uh, and it turns my. I, I figured out how to 
apply it without making my fingernails black, but when I rinse it, it does turn my toenails black. Well, your fingernails are not supposed to be black. See, I found a clip. Uh, <laughs> There's one right there. I'm going to do it. Hold on. Not, not supposed, supposed to, be to be black. Oh, wait. Be black. Where is it? Uh, it here it is. Tomatoes, tomatoes right? are like yeah. black and... Tomatoes aren't supposed to be black. There you go. There's a there's an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> there's a classic. October. A doozy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, October of 2012. Uh, someone oh, said God, some in the chat know, kind of freaked. The first. Oh, first. First clip, clip we ever played was on oh, the show. I, like the first. No freaking idea. Yeah. yeah I could look I by know. date, I guess, but I'm not sure that's even accurate. Because I've played mm -hmm. stuff that that's dated earlier. Like I've played mm -hmm. things from 05 and 04. Uh, yeah. Somebody said somebody, uh, in the yeah. chat said they were or here it is ASVP Mason or MV Son whatever I was in uh, I was in middle school when the show started and now I've graduated college and gotten a job think of that Brian wow, wow. this person has grown up during that time like. Ten grown years. up with TMS we have not stunted do we stunt their growth I'd actually know. be curious I don't know. Uh, but like, if you were twelve when we started, you're twenty-two now. Yeah. If you're, hold on, these are bad comparisons because everyone knows what ten years Bye. is. Right, right, right. Yes, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna stop doing that. Ten years is an easy. That's actually a pretty easy one to say. Although you think of what, um, what was, uh, let's see, what was a big movie from 2011? Like to say, oh my god, that was ten years ago. That's that's usually like a really good comparison. Oh, like. Yeah. Uh, Contagion. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Contagion came out 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, let's see. Great the example. Top, what about... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's real bad. Top top 2011 movies. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Hugo, which is that uh, Martin Scorsese the re kid the remake show. of The Thing. Super 8. Yeah. X-Men First Apollo. Class. Yeah. No, that's a different Apollo. That's not the one. Limitless. The first Thor. The first Captain America movie. Uh wow. War Horse. Oh, yeah, War yeah. Horse. That was a good movie. Yeah, Moneyball. I still haven't seen that. Just Go With It, starring uh, Adam Sandler and I think uh, Jennifer Aniston. There you go. It's a safe bet, right? That's the one, yeah. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo that had uh, James Bond and uh, uh, Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross doing the music and yeah. never got a sequel, unfortunately. Yeah, David Should Fincher have. movie, Runa Mara. Oh, well, yeah, I like her. Yeah, oh, yeah Runa uh, Mara. Rise of the Planet of the Apes, the, the the one that's not as good as the other two, but it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> you had to have it, you know. Ghost Rider 2. Yeah. yeah. Two. How about Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> on Stranger Tides? Huh? Yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, see. That was a, a piece of, of shit, uh, for sure. A piece of shit. A lot though. of those uh, um, franchise films around then hmm. it says here we were still four years away from the greatest movie of all time yeah that's true oh, wow yeah, yeah i thought we could maybe i mean we had a whole weekend where that seemed to come <laughs> up a lot on saturday <laughs> i mean i'm not gonna lie to you brian because of all of that and because of my mood yeah. i ended up watching oh, wow. fury road again yesterday so did you yeah i saw your yeah. tweets i saw tweet after tweet after tweet yeah you know, let me show you a perfect movie in four frames <laughs> without saying the name of the movie. Well, that was part of a, a trend. I was just, I was just tagging on that. that Whatever. Was, somebody else has started that. In fact, Audie Norman, listener of the show and contestant oh, really? on ANTP. And, and ANTP contestant. Yeah, he's the one. I saw his post and went, oh, I'm going to do one of those. So I mm, quoted gosh. his tweet and then did my own. And of course I chose what I chose. Of course I did. Yeah, yeah. And somebody else chose uh, Hudson Hawk. and. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, the 2011 Shame uh, with the Ma Michael Fassbender penis. That movie came out that shame. year. Shame. Yeah, his wiener was out. I don't know if you remember yes. that. That was a thing. Anyway, hell of a, hell <laughs> really, of a year. I was really trying to come up with a uh, clever pun on Fassbender, and I really, I, I couldn't. That was, that would still be okay for this show. Yeah, I, I, a decent attempt there. Yes. Oh, Super 8 was that year. That's crazy. I said that one, yeah. Oh, you did say Super 8. I love Super 8. Super 8's amazing. That movie it is great. such a good film, yeah. yeah. There was uh, uh, the remake of Fright Night I never saw. <laughs> it came out. Anyway, big year yeah, for movies, everybody. Yeah. Go check them out. Rent Cowboys vs. Aliens and Battle for Los Angeles today. And let us know if Hannah is still good. <laughs> we did watch, uh, did we do that for FilmSec? Battle of Los Angeles? Battle for Los Angeles? Uh, no, but we keep saying we're gonna, and we never oh. so. I, I watched it, so I'm, I'm, I'll bow out. 
Yeah, you want to <laughs> tap it out. You want to go ahead and uh, let's do Did an I early. Watch it? We must have watched it for a recommendal or something. I don't remember what the deal was. That's the Aaron Eckhart one, or no? Am I thinking of something else? I think you're thinking of something else. There's well, some now I can't remember if he was in that. Aaron Eckhart battles Los Angeles movie. He was in the army. Gosh dang it! I'm gonna define it now. Yeah, battle. It's well, the one we saw, or the one I thought we saw, was Battle Colon Los Angeles. Uh, oh yeah, colon. that does have Aaron Eckhart, Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, it's Battle Colon Los Angeles. Yes, Battle Colon, Battle Colon, Battle Colon, comma Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. <laughs> it's the Battle Colon. Is that the, it's, that's the one where they end up at the top of a building at the very end, right? Uh, no, that's I, then. I, then I am thinking of something else. That's something else, and maybe we did watch that. That's the one that I thought we watched for film sec. Like you, they ended up on the top of a building in Los Angeles. Yeah, little drone aliens were coming at them. Yeah, big spidery looking ones. Mm -hmm. uh, Skyline. Okay, that was Skyline. Skyline. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you got it. Skyline. Has nothing to do with battle in Los Angeles <laughs> in the name of. Uh... <clears throat> well, did they come out around the same time? I guess they came out a year apart. I don't know why I thought that thought that was it. I don't know. Huh. It is L.A. They're in L.A. So. It is L.A., yeah. And it's a battle, and it's aliens. Yeah, and it's aliens. All right, okay. I don't, I don't think you can that. be faulted no, for this. There's no colon. No. The colon is not involved in but Skyline. You don't need to be... Uh, you don't need to... Th this. You were right to, to confuse these. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> This is exactly how it should have gone. All right, so happy yes. 10 years, everybody. Right, in the middle of the show today, we got all kinds of cool stuff, so stick around. Uh, yeah. We'll get to all that in a minute. Um, I was going to do some clips of my mom over the weekend, but I, I can't get this stupid file to work, so you're not going to hear oh, them. But no. I did. I know it sucks. She was cracking us up, dude. And it's not really? not drugs anymore. She's not on drugs. Yeah. She's yeah. Uh, Everything's going great. There's no complications. They're moving her to... Uh, she's out. Of, she was out of the ICU <clears throat> most of the week, and then she's off to rehab today. She said yes, yes, yes about the rehab. <laughs> yes, very good. And uh, she's... Uh, we talked to her yesterday for like an hour and a half um zoom call and her swelling is way down she's got this cool frankenstein stitch thing up front up top mm, here nice yeah and uh she was just making us laugh like you want to know how i got these scars <laughs> she was uh she was really a hoot and i'm gonna if i can figure out a way i just couldn't do it before the show but i'll figure out a way to capture some of these because some of it is freaking drop dead funny in a way that oh, she yeah. hasn't been in years i think she's like finally like i don't know maybe having brain surgery is enough for you to go you know what? I don't care anymore. <laughs> like she doesn't. Yeah. She doesn't really? seem to be stressed about the things that used to stress her out. She's just more like, yeah, whatever. They give me yogurt. It's not great. Uh, just talking about the food. <laughs> it was like having. It's like having my own little. You know, I don't know. Like a little, like little comedy mom for for an hour and a half. It That's kind of cool. Now, how long? Uh, how long will she be at uh, rehab? She'll be in rehab for potentially up to two weeks, possibly less. It okay. depends on how quick things go. Um, the main <laughs> she could get out early on good behavior. Yeah, good behavior. Basically. She's out of there. Exactly. Yeah. The thinking is if she can, uh, it's all about mobility at this point. So mm -hmm. if she can sure. do all her own walking, uh, kneeling, bending over, moving, you know, just kind of general mobility stuff, which is always super affected by this kind of surgery, but especially if you're 82, like it's like mm -hmm. even worse. So as long as all that stuff happens quickly, she's up and out of there and, and good to go. So, good. Yeah, it's all looking good. It's all looking great. I mean, you know, fingers crossed on complications, but so far none. Like it's all been just like awesome. Wow. Story yeah, book. very textbook. Very like, yeah. yeah <clears throat> everything went exactly as as it uh, as it should go. That's it's always uh, awesome. She's like my grandma. Her mother was super resilient that way, without having to really try very hard. It just seemed like stuff bounced off of her until it didn't. <laughs> And uh, this is one of those that seems to be, considering what happened, it's it's like a major, you know, major recovery. So she's doing great. All that stuff yeah. is great. Uh, but now Kim might have uh, a hernia and has to go to the doctor this morning. So that's fun. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. She's got, uh, look, you know, you have kids. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you stuff remember, Brian. always get put back <laughs> into the right place. Right. When, te when Tina was pregnant and all you yeah. people out there that have been pregnant or have been married to somebody or know someone who's been pregnant, you know that they're. Their bellies mm -hmm. get way out here, 
And as a result, mm-hmm. it pulls all those muscles out there and does all this stuff. That's right. Well, That's right. It's like when you're trying to pull a uh, an extension cord back, like one of those really long orange extension cords that you're using outside in the backyard. Yep. And you try and pull it back in. It doesn't always coil back up the way you want it to. Right. Sometimes right. you get like a little stupid twist in it. Mm-hmm. And you have to like, oh, like set everything down, undo the whole twist. Yep. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And when they, if they do like an ultrasound or something to try to find this thing. I'm going to make my kids sit and watch it because you did this to <laughs> This her. is your doing. You did it. <laughs> so anyway, that's fun. Nice. We'll see how nice. that goes. Uh, <laughs> hey, how was I? You know what frustrated me? I was playing or I was on a D&D show all uh, evening last yeah. night. And all we they're, got in the chat room. be dungeons. Con- constant chat room chatter about football scores. And one yeah. of them was the was the Packer game. And so as a Packers fan, I have mm-hmm. avoided spoilers because I don't want to know. How did, oh. it, how did it go? You want me to tell it? Like, yeah. uh, you, go ahead. You were... Let's make this it. This okay. is where we find out how the All Packers right. did. Well, the Packers lost ah! to the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers and stupid Tom Brady, um, who who really just should have the name stupid Tom Brady put on the back of his jersey. But yeah. uh, he's stupid Tom Brady. Yeah. Actually, stupid Tom Brady threw like three interceptions to uh, – uh, the Packers. He was he was uh, almost as helpful to the Packers scoring drive as Aaron Rodgers was. It seems to but, me like uh, st- stupid Tom Brady almost threw the game three times is what you're saying, and yet they still pretty much. won. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and uh, and the 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 most frustrating part was like two minutes left in the game. Packers are in the red zone. They're within. I think they're um, uh, three and goal eight eight yards to the goal line. Uh, third down. Third and goal, I guess. Isn't it? Third and goal. Yeah. Third and goal, and uh, um, Aaron Rodgers is uh, going to do a going to do a uh, a pass. He looks around, doesn't see anybody open, starts to run, has what looks like from our perspective a clear path to the to the uh, goal line, and he's notorious for running them in sure. when he can. Sure. He's a good, good runner. Yeah. Uh, whatever he doesn't he doesn't think he's going to do it. He passes it to somebody. He thinks they miss it. So it's now fourth and fourth and goal. They're eight yards. Oh. This is like two minutes left. Less than two minutes left. This is going to be their last chance to, um, uh, last chance with the ball. Right. And they're down by seven point. I think eight points. Eight points at this at this point. So they need a touchdown and they need to go for two to to tie things up. Right. And uh, how much time on the clock? Less than two minutes, a minute and a half, minute okay. 40, something okay. like that. And uh, uh, they decide, uh, LaFleur <sighs> decides instead of going for it yeah. <laughs> with eight yards, because it's the last chance they've got, they decide he decides to kick a field goal for three. Why? I don't know. <laughs> hope for you hope for an interception uh, or, or a onside kick or something. Pretty pretty much. Uh, no, they didn't even go for the onside kick. They 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 punted it. He was thinking they'll they'll be able to stop and maybe get possession again. They'll just basically go four and and uh, no no gain. And it was uh, that's it was incredibly ridiculous. dumb. Yeah, it wow. is completely dumb. Okay. I'm oh, so kinda... so a little more than two minutes uh, says PC okay. P Crumb. Right. Um, but, yeah. but if you're out, anyway. of, if you're if if everyone's running low on freaking timeouts, that's a quick two minutes, man. It is, yeah, and everybody and everybody had their timeout, so uh, so everything was a timeout, and you know they didn't keep that game clock going for anything. Damn. Now, uh, that's that's all the sports talk you're going to get. Oh. But I was next door with the crazy neighbors for this because they are the biggest Packer fans, yeah. not just the bigger Packer biggest Packer fans I know, but I think the biggest Packer fans. And um, superstition was coming out in full display that I'd never seen from them before that I thought was absolutely hilarious. So they uh, it's the two of them, uh, our two friends, Kristen and Fonda. They're two friends, Kristen and Fonda, who are now our friends. And then me and Tina. And we're mm-hmm. watching the game very socially distant in our little pairs on different sides of the, mm-hmm. the living room, mm-hmm. eating our, our uh, ribs and uh, uh, oh. green chili. and Oh, such good food. Oh. You're killing me. But, that sounds amazing. But they're, you know, they start out the game and they are fully decked out in Packer gear. A Packer Mohawk baseball cap, Packer foam finger, uh suspenders, all that stuff. Cheese hats and or as, no cheese hats. No cheese hmm? hats. Uh one cheese hat. There was okay. a cheese hat. But that yeah. actually turned into more of a remote control holder. <laughs> I heard about halfway through. Okay. Because that's kind of what they were doing. Like, oh, the Packers are losing. It's time to switch it up. I'm getting rid of this hat. 
you know what? I'm taking, I'm going to take these suspenders off and just burn them because they're obviously the problem. Wow. No, I'm only bringing out the foam finger now for, for this. Actually, somebody else should hold the foam finger. And it was just watching this like weird superstition thing of, uh, of, uh, do we need to change something up so that the Packers will start winning? Part of it, I think was, was, uh, just being funny. Sure. Uh, some of it, I think was actually <laughs> kind of seriously, uh, superstition. Well, that's what to the makes point where now fans. I'm worried that that you know the next time the Packers are in the playoffs, uh, we're not going to get invited over because us being there changed things from the other. <laughs> the oh other yeah, what if you're the problem? Is. What if Brian's I know, the problem? Exactly, exactly. Oh, yes. I didn't think of this. If you're truly suspicious or superstitious, what you do right, is you, you start your at... process of elimination. You get rid of the hat, you get rid of the suspenders, <laughs> right. and then you look over at Brian and go, "You're still here." And they're exactly. still losing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's too bad. Well, uh, anyway. too bad, Packers. What does that mean for? I don't know where we are. That means the Bucks and the Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl, okay. and it's a. Uh, it'll be Brady. Uh, I'm sorry. It'll be stupid Tom Brady's tenth time going to the Super Bowl, and it'll be the first time in the history of the Super Bowl that the game will be played in, um, in one of the team's home fields. Oh wow! Like the Tampa Bay will be played in the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers Stadium. So why are they um, doing that? Is that a COVID thing, or is that some other? No, because it was where the Super Bowl was going to be held all along, and it just so happens that the Buccaneers made it all the way through. That feels unfair, unfair. <laughs> like an unfair advantage. Yeah, yeah. Because home field matters, but also I don't know what home field looks like now. What what is what is an audience at a COVID football game now? Because I'm watching. Any they're football. they're going to let in. Oh, what did I see? It was like a. It's like I'm sure it's like a sixty thousand seat stadium or more, and they're only going to be letting in twenty two fifty or five. I'm sorry, twenty two five hundred. Okay. Uh, twenty two thousand five hundred, um, and only people who've gotten their first vaccine, first responders, folks like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, and they'll still be doing what they can to socially distance and. Yeah. Um interesting yeah well yeah okay go uh whoever uh, go not go the chiefs. team with i'd like yeah, to go see chiefs. yeah i'd like to see the chiefs yeah let's see the chefs do it i'd like to see the chefs the go chefs again. great googly moogly i used to i used to really pay attention during the seasons i don't mm -hmm. anymore at all i just kind of mm -hmm. i know what's i mean i get it <laughs> well, the I reason really, i did is because sports betting is now legal in uh in Colorado. right but i'd like football like i like it yeah. i'd like football yeah. a lot i'd like i know the rules i get it i, I watch it. i play it I'm in the 80s i couldn't i couldn't have been a more diehard 49ers fan and for a while mm -hmm. denver but not very long um yeah. But yeah, like I it, football's great, but I don't care anymore until they get to about this point and then I'm like, "All right. Let's yeah. see how you are now." But I'm a little annoyed. I'm, it's like stupid Tom Brady, can you please can you please just be a not a great player cuz you annoy me in right. so many ways, but the truth is you're really good at this game and exactly. I can't deny it and it's hard for me because I don't like you very much and I don't like I don't like you, but you have uh, skills that are hard to deny. <laughs> uh. Listen, Princess. Listen, Princess Dagger Seventeen. I cheered for the Chiefs last night, and they won. So, yeah. um, so well, go Chiefs. There, Chiefs. Yes, chefs. go Chiefs. <laughs> yeah, you know, from Kansas, the great state of Kansas, uh, the great Kansas state of City. Kansas. Yeah, uh, we go we... Mahomes. <laughs> All right, uh, time for us to play some games here. Yeah, let's play a game. Yeah, shall we? Let's shall bring we play in, a game? We haven't done this. We didn't do this in the beginning of our ten-year run, but I'm um, sure glad we do it now. We have Brian Dunaway joining us shortly, and uh, we'll have one of you out there calling us and being a part of today's tomfoolery. Let's play a little intro for Brian here. Whoops. <laughs> Minute. Hey, Brian Dunaway, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Scott and Brian. Hi. Speaking of tomfoolery, yeah. did you guys see Tom Brady this past weekend? Sure did. <laughs> How'd you feel about all I that? I love that guy. He's the best. He's not the best. Look. He's just so great, isn't he's he? The, he's a goat. He's the best player maybe the game's ever seen. He's maybe the best quarterback the game's ever seen. Okay? I'll admit oh, it. Oh, God. I'll admit it. He probably is. <laughs> do, you just, do you just love hate mail? But I Jeez. don't like him. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, get ready for another uh, email, angry email from uh, Frijole said. Oh Ryan yeah, Frijole Von or Third Reich his, uh, or whatever his name was. Yeah, yeah, that, that jerk. Reichland. That's right. Reichland. <laughs> Frijole Reichland is the worst thing anyone's ever said. All right, hey Dunaway, uh, it's good to have you here. We're gonna play a game. Hey Scott, and uh, it's, it's good to have you here, man. We're we're always happy. To it have is you. good to be here for the tenth anniversary of yeah. the TMS. I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. If you think about it, let's see. Uh, ELR ended in 09, so we were still a couple of years away. But uh, but FilmSAC right. bridged the gap, man. That's mm-hmm. what happened there. It yep. did. Oh, yeah. Don't forget FilmSAC. As much I as- remember when you, I remember when you told me you was going to do TMS. I was like, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? Most man? people said that. Like you can't <laughs> do that. How are you going to keep up a morning show every day for yeah for yeah. that long? I'm looking at us but now. you know we what you. Prove me wrong. Good on you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well done. I'm everybody. just kidding. I've always believed in you. Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> we're, I'm a myth, so you believed in a myth. Anyway, hey, uh, we got on the line with us a listener who's going to participate in today's contest. Let's find out who's been waiting so patiently. Good morning. Who's this? Hey, Scott. It's uh, Michael. Slucko in the chat. Ah, uh, Slucko. Hey. Oh. Slucko in the chat. Welcome back. It's good to have you here, Michael. We're going to play a game. Brian's going to explain the rules and tell you a triggered word. That's right, Michael. I'm going to be giving Scott and Brian a topic, and they're going to go back and forth giving me answers that fit that topic. If one of them gives a wrong answer, a repeated answer, or they take too long to come up with an answer, the win is going to go to the other player. Slucko, your job is to predict who's going to come out on top based on the topic. Today, you're playing for the carryover prizes from last week, Truberbrook. And Driftland, the Magic Revival, courtesy of Wesley. Also, courtesy of Wesley, we're adding another game to this. Gris. G-R-I-S. Ooh, Is that's a Gris good one. or Gris? It's just Gris, right? I, I I think it's just, I think it's Gris. It's, uh, it's a real word. I'm trying to remember what language, though. French. <laughs> Chris is the word Three. that you heard. It's, Chris it's, it's is the move. word. Has it, gotta, has it gotta move? Has I don't know, move? but it's a beautiful. It's a beautiful game, though. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Oh, it's a, Howie Zarel says, "Green." Oh, green. That's it. Yeah. Green. I don't it. like green. <laughs> that seems like a, a given that we'll get that in the title. It's a shoe in. Kind yeah. of a shoe in. It's yes. a very cool game, uh, though. I want to. I'm just just a side mention here. Uh, I believe my daughter currently holds it as her favorite indie game she's ever played. Which wow. take that? It's gorgeous. It's wow. beautiful. Wow. It's a fun run. Yeah, it's good. Wow. Really good. All right. Wow. Well, that's what you're playing for, Slucko. Wow. But we need a topic so you can tell us who you think is going to win. Topic today, very timely. Actually, I came up with this this morning because I felt like it. It was a, 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 <laughs> the right thing to do. Uh, being the 10th anniversary of TMS, um, you know, the first thing you'd want to do is go look at the official Hallmark list of anniversary gifts and get the appropriate gift oh. for a 10th anniversary. Sure. Uh, what I want you to do is tell me, and I've got the list of both the modern and the traditional, but these are the official Hallmark uh, anniversary gifts. So you know how every for every gift there's some, or for every uh, anniversary year, there's some special theme you're supposed to follow yeah right just like twitter every freaking day yeah <laughs> every day doesn't have to be a thing twitter right yeah. exactly yeah. so uh, i want to know how many of these you can name you don't have to name them in order you don't even have to tell me what anniversary they are just guess the thing and i'll tell you if uh it's uh what 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 uh, anniversary it is is, is it helpful what, what, for us what, at this what, stage what, what, to say what, what, anything uh, to regards in regards to how bad we think we're going to do at this like will it is it <laughs> Is it wrong for me to to say this so if Slucko knows whether I'm going to suck or not? Because I feel like Well, I'll tell you right now. I've got 60 items in the list. Holy gosh. There's there's a lot of stuff you could guess that. So after the 60th, what is it? Like, uh, you don't get nothing? Yeah, you get nothing. There's like. Wow. Yeah. It's uh, it's a. I'll just put it this way this is easily going to be one of the worst ones I've done. Easily. Hmm. I don't think so. Oh, I think, I you'll think do so. Well. I don't. Th- I never hmm. pay attention to this. I have no idea what Hallmark thinks are the good sixty things. I have no idea. Yeah, I know the tradition. I know the few of the traditional ones. I can't say what Hallmark. I suspect. I have some suspicions from Hallmark, but I can't think of those. Those are usually probably based on the Hallmark ones, and then there's um, right. yeah. I have no. Yeah, idea. I think I think it's the other way around. The traditional is, and then boy, I hope I hope Hallmark. Slucko lets. Brian, go first. Go, so let Brian go can, first so I can get a taste, man. I need a taste. Yeah, exactly. mm, I need a taste. Exactly. Mm, mm. <laughs> you know, I can tell you, Scott, I mean, if you're thinking about, like, uh, um, Super Mario DS, <laughs> don't go that specific. 
<laughs> dial it back to way, way more generalities. Okay. And... It's got to be like super. I just don't. I, oh. Okay. All right. This Fingernail is polish yeah. is your five. Everybody knows that. We'll see That's how right, this exactly. goes. All right. So, Slecko, <laughs> Michael, who, who do you want to go first and who do you think is going to win? Uh, he just left. Let's go with Brian to start and uh, Brian to win. That's a safe bet, dude. Brian to start, Brian to win. <laughs> I, I fully endorse your decision. All, All right. right. Donway, I'll, go, I'll go with uh, Hallmark's uh, moneymaker. Um, I'm going to go with a paper for year paper. one. Year one is indeed paper. Beeper. They make their they make their paper. money on them cards. Okay. They do, and it seems like a cop out. First anniversary, you're just right. getting me a card. What? Pretty much. I could have. I had a whole you know life before uh, a year ago, and now you're rewarding me for my servitude with a card. Yeah, but in Waterworld time, that's super valuable. Hey man, <laughs> have you ever bought a card from Hallmark? Yeah, it's expensive these yeah, days. Yeah, that's true. It's way more expensive than uh, than it should be. Okay. All right, Scott. Don't 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 forget that this first one is a mulligan. So, but hopefully you won't need it. I hopefully don't need it. Uh, let's go with yeah. what I I can only assume this is on there. Chocolates on there somewhere? Oh, or did I chocolate? Just, did I just mulligan? That? <laughs> it's like <laughs> chocolate. You're going with chocolate. chocolate. I don't know. Uh, all right. Okay. Sixth anniversary is candy or iron, depending oh. on traditional that counts. or Wait. Um, that counts. Candy yes. or iron? Boy, candy they didn't really. Or, iron. or they didn't is... get together on that one, did they? <laughs> no. So, like the traditional versus the contemporary, the modern. Okay. Right. All right. That is I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, just that. buy some candy and just pay the iron price for it, and right. then you're fine. Right. There you go. <laughs> oh man, this, this is not going <laughs> to. Well. I'm hoping this will last a little bit longer. My sh right. My shit gift giving is notorious. So uh, the fact that I don't know <laughs> these should not be a surprise to anybody. Think. I'll just say this. Think like raw materials. Okay. Right. Okay. Raw materials. That's what I'm going to do. Think raw it materials. Seems, okay. yeah. it, it seems like the last anniversary is Diamond. Diamond is the 60th anniversary. Yeah. Diamond. Ah, nobody can you beat Diamond. Wait. Can't beat Diamond. Uh, um, like once you get, once you make it to Diamond, you're, you're done. You, uh, you know, even if you make it to 61, 61st anniversary, sorry, I gave you a Diamond. Okay, now I now I remember I remember some of these. I get these. Yeah, uh, these make sense. Yeah, yeah. that's so, what I was hoping so, for. So silver. Yeah. Silver's my next Silver! Answer. Now, silver. Now the gears are starting to work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Starting to rotate. Okay. Silver is indeed the twenty fifth anniversary, the silver anniversary. Is it is like the iron one where it's like silver or uh, uh, donuts or something like that. <laughs> no, twenty uh, fifth is silver in both traditional and contemporary. Okay. All right. Yep. See, All I just right. want to understand why I thought it was went up to seventy five. That's why I was like, well, surely yeah. there's. I don't so know. So anyway, yeah, yeah. The way I think of it is usually mm -hmm. right. So I would think I, I like the big milestones. My mom used to own a jewelry shop. That's one mm. of the reasons why I know some of this stuff. Oh, wow. um, I, and I worked there occasionally. Uh, seems like uh, 25 was silver and then 50 was gold. And for some reason, I was thinking 75 was like platinum or something stupid. I guess I'm just wrong. Mm. So well, I'm going to go with I'm going with uh, gold. Gold. I'm, uh, yes, gold is the 50th. And since uh, since no, you know what? I'm not I'm not going to never mind. I'm not going to say anything else because that one is uh, 75 is some icy oh. hot a six pack of icy hot. <laughs> <laughs> Metamucil. Yeah. Metamucil. <laughs> um, all right. So you said gold. 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 I'm not telling you that. Maybe uh, I said it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I said gold. I'm thinking of other raw materials here. Sure. There you go. That's a good way to do it. Pretty metals. <laughs> pretty metals. <laughs> pretty, pretty metals. Uh, let's say... I really don't know. Um, uh, let's. Uh, it's not always metals. It could be like probably gems or something. Uh huh. Yeah, of course. Those are good. Those are I, good I said yes diamond. Well. Yeah. Oh, I told you the darn thing. You did Stupid say Brian. You did Shut say up. diamond. Um, <laughs> so I'll say uh, probably a, like a sapphire is in there. Ooh. Sapphire is a great one to say. 45th anniversary is sapphire. The sapphire anniversary. Well, if you're going that color, I'm going with the emerald. Emerald. Yes. The 55th anniversary is oh, emerald. I thought it was before then. Hmm. I would have thought thing. so, too. Yeah. Yeah. Is there one for every year? 
Yes, yes, there is. Going, in my list, every year going all the way up until 60, but okay. I think there is a 75th, the one that Hallmark apparently doesn't care about 61 through 75, but I have seen lists that go up to It's 75. a pretty, the market gets very narrow <laughs> after 60, I yeah, think. Right, you don't want to stock those uh, happy yeah. 68th wedding anniversary cards because no. they, they don't sell as much. Yeah, <laughs> it's just kind of sad at the same time. So I guess I'm going to say... Um, uh well wow if paper's on there uh-huh. if paper's on there uh, paper let's say did we say paper we said paper oh is it that thing where it's like uh people will say something blue something blue that's a thing right <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a thing for getting married uh, oh shit <laughs> that's not a that's not, that's it? not an anniversary gosh dang it i'm looking to see if there's anything any way i kind of could bleed, be blue i know like like a, a gemstone this blue let's see we had sapphire emerald. Um, uh, what would be i blue? really don't know People i could that... all right okay you know what i will say uh something new <laughs> the 22nd anniversary is the theme of water so which could be blue <laughs> hey i like just it. to keep this just to keep this from <laughs> <laughs> I like it. From I like stalling it. out. I like it. We're gonna oh my allow. God. We're gonna allow. Uh, blue is is water. Yes. Okay. Okay. Blue is water. Didn't okay. I, didn't um, see, I think I didn't I, see actually, water ever getting uh, ever getting guessed in this list. <laughs> that opens up a few for me, but I want to use the one I already had. Yes. But that makes me. That opens. Up, I want to go ahead and say. Um, Jade is on there as well. Say Jade. Sure, Jade. Uh, 19th anniversary is the Jade anniversary. This is weird, weird numbers. Yeah, this is That's weird right. numbers. Okay, Jade. Jade on the main stage, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Jade. Jade. <laughs> Diamond, you're on deck. <laughs> Put your hands together. <laughs> you do that too well, if it's. It's like, oh, you yeah, do that, that reminds well. me. I got to go pick up something for my wife for her 19th anniversary. <laughs> oh, frick. Um,. So, so uh, I would not go. I would not guess borrowed, <laughs> no, right, or something uh, old, something old new, or something new. borrowed, or yeah. something blue. Leave those three other three out. All right. So those are all wedding things. Um, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> How about? Uh, okay, we'll go for another element if there is one. Sure, sure. <laughs> Wait, there's no way they'd do this. I'm trying to think what you'd give. Oh shite. I'll just say it because I don't know what to say. Uh, fire. Something with fire. fire. The 21st Here's anniversary. Candle, really? Baby. There's it's a fire the one? of fire, yes. Yeah, so you get something fire related. <laughs> I had no idea. Well, I'm going to stay in uh, in the four elements of the fifth element table. Like the movie. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Frodo sweat. Um, Are you right. saying table? No, like earth need... or stone, earth or stone or something you need like that. Stone, stone earth? seems like it would be an obvious one, right? Yeah, the twenty fourth anniversary is the stone mm. theme. The stone anniversary. Stone, so you get pot, really. Well, That's if there is, if those are all true, then well, I mean, I know we're not going to have, we're not going to, we're not giving away Lilu multi pass. Hey, Lilu, not... Lilu is the fifth <laughs> element, absolutely. That is the 32nd anniversary. <laughs> um, I really pass. did. It re- that really was, what's his name, sweating into a rag and then squeezing it off. And it was, that was the grossest thing in that movie. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's go. I guess I'll say wind because I don't know. Yeah, wind is good. Um, I mean, you basically say it as air, uh, which is the 23rd anniversary. You get some, give her some air. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Come here. Come here. Do you, yeah, do you just wake her up at 4 a.m. and go and roll over, and that's happy anniversary. happy anniversary. Okay. So you, they were, those were all in a row, you said? They were kind of like in the 20s? Uh, I think so, yes. 21st is fire. 23rd, 22nd. So those years are dumb. real just mm-hmm. crap. That's just... Yeah. Yeah, right. it's like they they ran out of ideas before they thought, oh, wait, we've got these other things that we could do. Yeah, mm-hmm. There are some other dumb theme theme years that I don't think you'll ever guess, so we'll talk about those at the end. Okay, interesting. Um, I feel like, I'm, I feel like we said some of these. Ooh, now I'm starting to think. Well, now we've I'm definitely said to, some. But... Did we? Mm, mm-hmm. I remember mm-hmm. Scott said... Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember Scott said 
Did he say sapphire or ruby? I think he said sapphire. So I'm going ruby. Mm. Ruby. Ruby. 40th anniversary is ruby. Well done. Mm. I'm all out of stones. I can't think of anymore. I'm all out of stones. I'm all out of stones. So lost without you. Performed by the Great Wind Supply Band. Yeah, there you go. The Great Wind Supply. <laughs> good, good old Wind Supply. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there one with? <sighs> Show me. <laughs> uh. Is there? I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm just gonna say one. Meat. Yeah, say one. Is there something with meat? Meat. <laughs> meat. Meat. Please be meat. Please be meat. Please be meat. Is there anything with meat? Please. Oh be my meat. god! How many gimmies can I give him? Uh, is there like sandwich? There is. The 34th anniversary is food. Okay. Meat, got meat, meat is food. Uh, yeah. Oh food. my gosh! Come meat on. I don't. I, I, it's a. Yeah. Okay. So mush potatoes even agrees. Food, food works. For well, me. Horace mush potatoes agrees. He thinks yes. everything's uh, food. His name right. is unless food. unless you're uh, married to Army Hammer, in which case every anniversary is meat. Yeah. No kidding. That guy. <laughs> what the hell's going on there? Right. I, yeah, I went through right. most of the jury stuff that I can think of that we we mm -hmm. did, and paper was stupid. That was easy. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> ah, but okay. So we did the elements. Meat. And now, obviously, we're just giving away answers with food. <laughs> you know. Now I can say anything I want. And like, right. Brian will Pretty figure much out a way to make whatever. it yeah. Right. Um. Oh, geez. I'm thinking. Um. How about? I know one is. Seems like one is like. Books. Books. Because I think. You give a book. Okay. 37th anniversary is books. Jeez. Book. I'm I so know because bad at my... this. Boy, you've been married to for somebody for 37 years. Here's a paperback copy of Eat, Pray, Love. Yep. Knock yourself out. Yep. Here's a book. Have a book. Stop right. being so ignorant. What year is that? When do you finally 37. get fed up with your 30, 37? 37, when, yeah. yeah that, I guess that's when you finally get fed up with their ignorance. Here, yeah. read a book. Yeah. I mean, I think this was like, you know... This was all written at a traditional time when people didn't have as much. Well, that's what I was. That's what I was and thinking. So was like, that's I, why you start I off tried, with paper. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think of stuff that they gave on Little House in the Prairie. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Because well, let's, let's let's stick with that then. I'm gonna say they're what? always given. They're always given gifts on that thing. I'm gonna yeah. say wood. <laughs> Give them wood. wood. Yeah. As in the, uh, the, 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 the the chicken tasted like dot dot yeah, dot. Yeah, or the fifth anniversary is wood. Oh, sweet. Okay, mm. I'm in the group. If you're now. good, you can mm. give her both wood and meat at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Not the most subtle innuendo we've made on the show. Um, <laughs> I meant like a nice plate of charcuterie. Sure. And a nice right. uh, cutting board. Yeah, what? A cutting board yeah. with a little bit of meat on it. Yeah, we get it. Sure. <laughs> All right. Come, come here, Mrs. Ingalls. Let me give you some wood. Mrs. Ingalls. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to say that. I want to say that, uh, uh, like, watch is, but I don't think that'd be universal. Maybe it's some kind of timepiece. Timepiece. Yeah. Timepiece. Give them some time. Yeah, I'd like some. You know, how about for our anniversary this year? Just give me some time. Give me a little time. Uh, clocks or watches are the forty-second anniversary. Okay. Well then, it should I'm be the peep. sixty sixtieth anniversary, right? right? Look, for clocks look, and watches. You know, look how much you got left. It's not much. <laughs> it turns out. Not much. It turns out the way to do this is to think about what some old timey person would give some old timey yeah. person. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to say something with like spices. Oh, that's yeah. good. Is, I don't know if that one's there like, or not, but that sounds good. You know, saffron or oh, what? Don't worry, Scott. They're gonna find a way. They're gonna like. Well, a weasel is the fifty-third. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm trying to see if there's something I can stretch. I don't think there's anything. They don't like I can salt or here. pepper or anything or like a no. Uh, uh, salt or any kind of meat, like a meat glaze. Is, like that a is rub. no more lame of an answer than half of the things we've said. <laughs> That's true. Totally true. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna stick a fork in this one and say we're done. Ooh, uh, ooh. Is silverware one of the things? No. Um, silver. No. Don't know me. Like, no, don't know me, spice boy. <laughs> yeah. Like 
there's no <laughs> no silverware or flatware or anything like that silver would be the thing and then you'd give them uh, a nice right. a fork and a knife i guess um let me Is run napkin because yeah do all of them. Just do them all no but what's a napkin could what a, what could a napkin be made of paper oh, oh some cloth or linen or something like that we know where Scott eats. Yeah, we know <laughs> anywhere there's paper napkins. <laughs> paper and and uh, meat. I like meat. Both uh, both cotton and linen are uh, are are uh, anniversary gifts. All right, so let's go through all the rest of these because it's just funny. Antiques, appliances, art, bath appliances. or spa theme, appliances, mm. bath or spa theme, bronze. Nobody said bronze. Oh. What happened to you metal people? Uh, charity is a theme, 59. So right before you give them the diamond, you give something to somebody else. That's good. Oh, that's Ch- rude. China, <laughs> coffee or tea. The whole there country? Yeah. There you go, Cleo. Uh, <laughs> China, yes. Uh, copper. Nobody said copper. Oh, coral. I almost said copper. I almost did. There's brass on there? Get back in the house, Coral. Uh, no brass. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> cotton, crystal. Uh, on the 56th anniversary, oh, it's day as a theme. So give them something day related. Electronics on the 44th anniversary. Entertainment Ooh. on the 43rd. Faith and hope on the 58th. <laughs> wow, chintzy. Lame. Uh, yeah. Fruit or flowers, games, garden or plants, Jeez. glass. Can't believe nobody said glass. Um, just flat well. out jewelry or gold jewelry on the 14th, but that's separate from gold. Okay. Uh, home improvement on the 48th. I made you a door. <laughs> Iron. <laughs> Lace, laughter on the 39th. What? Laughter. Wow, leather. Really? You just wake Linens. up going. <laughs> here's, here's the best one. Give them something that just doesn't exist. Luck. Wow. <laughs> luck. Wow. Got you I give ticket. you luck. Luck. Here's a, oh. here's a, here's a cricket. Yeah. Good luck. Exactly. Yeah. Music, night, office or desk decor, pearls, photos or cameras, plastic, pearls. pottery mm-hmm. or bronze. Mm. Nobody said pearls. Surprise. Mm. Silk or linen. Uh, steel, tin, or aluminum. Uh, tools, travel, willow, or pottery. Willow, the DVD wine, or the Blu-ray? The movie, give them the movie Willow, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, and some pot to smoke while you watch it. Uh, <laughs> wine or spirits and wool or copper. For oh, the I almost said wine or spirits, or I basically was going to say alcohol, and I didn't. I thought, well, that's yeah. a weird yeah. gift. Like, maybe. But... Some of those sound like revenge anniversaries. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, well. <laughs> oh, well I want electronics. Yeah. You want your, you you want your present? Lots of luck. Yeah, good <laughs> luck to you. All right, so here's what happened, Michael. This happened. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You picked it right, and honestly, I cannot fault you for your choice. You did exactly what you should have done. Uh, and uh, this would have all made... If my wife was listening to this, she'd just nod her head the whole time. She'd just go, yeah, I bet, you didn't know. You know what we should have done is allowed you to tap Kim in. Oh, my and, gosh, dude. Oh, she would have... She uh, knows that would have been all this stuff. Unfair. She knows all this stuff. Sure. She probably has her own list that she uses that's in addition I'd to this. She's curious. so good at it. I'd be curious to know how she would have done. You'll have to ask her... I'll send you a list, and you can see how many she gets. Send me the list. And, uh, send me the list. I'll ask her how many she got. In fact, I'll do it on um, an episode of Skim, so I have some oh, proof. Oh, there you go. Uh, that's good. Yeah. I was about to say, this would be a good Facebook question for yeah, your friends. It would be. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't cheat. A bunch nope. of cheaters. The cheaters. Big cheaters. <laughs> uh, well, all right. Uh, hey, Michael, well done. How do you feel about your win there, dude? Good, good. Good. Uh, been off work a little bit lately, but I'm excited to go to the Super Bowl and work. Oh, that's fantastic. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Oh, you're going to be working the Super Bowl? Ooh. That's fun. Very hey cool. to Tom Brady for us. Go. Yeah, when you see Tom Brady, uh, just take a balloon with you and let it deflate a little bit when you see him. Just go <laughs> like that when you see him. He'll know what it means. He'll know what it means. Uh, but congratulations. You. And well done. Email Brian, coverville at gmail.com. I'll get you your codes, and right. you are the happy owner of said codes. All right. Excellent. We've done it. Brian Dunaway. What's the what's the tenth anniversary? What are we supposed to be getting each other for TMS? Uh uh tin or aluminum, ten. if I remember correctly. Yeah. So just oh, give us right. so on there. I'll yeah. be sending I'll be sending you some Reynolds wrap through the mail. I thought Perfect. about saying aluminum, but then I thought, well, that's just so industrial. It's used for like, you know, computer cases and like recycling yeah. aluminum. Like nobody wants yeah, that. That, that, is, that is a total BS gift. I brought you this uh soda. Yeah. Okay, and here you go. Alu- I brought you some aluminium. Yeah. <laughs> you could give her you give her like a like a MacBook. Those are mostly aluminum. You could do that. There you go. Yeah. Oh wow. I know, where you, I know where you can get one even. Yeah, <laughs> Brian Brian has a source. All right. Uh hey Dunaway, tomorrow we're doing the boop show. Not much to say now except it's gonna be great and uh you guys should tune in. Uh, it's Tuesdays now at the uh three thirty mountain time time zone at frogpants.tv if you want to be there live or you can check out the podcast after. Anything else you want to mention or say? 
Absolutely. I'm going to wiggle in the old Boop Show time slot, 3.30 Mountain on the uh, in the 5.30 Eastern time. I'm going to be playing Skull, the Hero Slayer. Well, yeah. I got a code Day for that. Two. I'm excited to hear what you say about that. Cause, you uh, should play it. Yeah. It is It is uh, it's cool, frustratingly yeah. good times, oh. roguelike. Okay. All right. I mm -hmm. like frustratingly good roguelikes. Sure. Yes. Sign me up. Bye. All right. <laughs> That's what anniversary is Bitcoin? I get you some Bitcoin. Get you some Bitcoin for your anniversary. I don't. I could see that being added to the list. Sure. Why actually, not? I could see it too. Modern, yeah, modern yeah. one. I mean, like investments, you'd actually think that investments could be on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if they had or electronics on there, so <laughs> yeah, investments and luck are interchangeable. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're gonna take a break and play a song live on the show. You guys, we're not gonna do this in post. Because there's a little something special about it. Brian, do you want to introduce this before right. we take our break? Yes, this is uh, this is amazing. This was put together by Ralph Zacharias. Um, this is uh, in honor of the 10th anniversary of TMS. This is uh, a TMS song called uh, Doctor's Visit. Mm -hmm. that was written specifically for us for this show and we're going to try and figure out a way to incorporate the end of this as well uh in our in our staple of uh or stable in our stable of themes yeah so uh it's that good we want to we're going to have an extra yeah. stable or sorry an extra theme to add to the stable of themes <laughs> it's right it's exactly. gonna be great so again once again this is ralph zacharias with his uh song called the morning stream doctor's visit all right here it is we'll see you soon the G.I. Joe mobile support vehicle, and your Joe's in the driver's seat. Today's mission, a radioactive satellite is down and must be bombed. It's giving me the shit! <laughs> Freaking ten years, hold on. <laughs>
This is the morning stream. Look, we just want the money. You guys can walk away. We won't kill you. All right, we're back, everybody. That was awesome. Isn't that awesome? And the best part is he incorporated the existing uh, uh, Hakido T M M M S, you know, mm-hmm. like that into the actual theme, which is so freaking. Yeah, great. it's amazing. We uh, we we love it, and uh, like we said, we're gonna figure out a way to integrate that into a new theme. So watch. For and if that. he's and if he's cool with it, we're gonna check with him and see if he uh, will allow it to be downloaded. So. Um, but uh, yeah, I get like a Murray Head or M pop music, uh, uh, the nails, eighty-eight lines about forty-four women kind of vibe mm-hmm. to it. I love it. Yeah, it's really, really good, it's really well done, and the whole mm, the cheetah thing in the middle just is so freaking perfect. <laughs> it comes out of nowhere. <clears throat> like, yeah. wait, why is it? Oh, Scott's talking. <laughs> yeah, that's really great. Just perfect timing, yeah. perfect beat, perfect everything. Well done, well done. Yeah. Uh, all right, we are to a point now where we can uh, proceed with Monday's normalness and that involves mm, normal mondiness one bill duran being added to the call uh, if i can have that happen here without too much mishap that's what we're gonna do and here's that your bat caves open there bill bill duran joining us from punishedprops.com and uh the beautiful uh just outside somewhere near seattle area <laughs> uh bill <laughs> welcome to the show how the heck are you i'm good uh, actually if i walk Two blocks from my house, there's an overpass, and from that overpass, I can see the Space Needle. Oh, we'll see. That's, oh, how, okay. that's how close I am to Seattle. You're pretty that close. close. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah, it's the kind of and, thing. And hey, let's let people not forget that when uh, we when we were doing this in the early days, you were fitness geek coming on here before we yeah. tapped into your your specialty, which that is making is correct. stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You used to tell us what kind of push-ups to do and what kind not to do, and uh, what weights were good to have, and if it was uh, the kind you get on Amazon or any good, and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now we're all fat and gross and doing making stuff instead. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. I like it, I like it better. <laughs> yeah. You know, do you know what I did? My my main hobby before that, before fitness, before props, photography, well, right? Photography, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because I I have a an original. Well, I don't know if it's an original, but I have a uh, a builder and photograph over on my wall. Look at this photograph. Yep. <laughs> the year we started, uh, or let's see, uh, 2010 and 2011. Both uh, Nerdtaculars both both featured Bill doing a bunch of photo work, and yeah. uh, it's some of my favorite stuff. Like that, some of our group like product uh, producer photos that we made uh, that mm-hmm. he did, they're amazing. I love them. Do you yeah. ever feel do you ever feel like you want to dive deep back into that? I know you do a lot of photo stuff for your finished props and stuff, but oh yeah, yeah. Do you do you get the you get the itch now and again? Yeah, and that's what I'm here to talk about. Oh, the right. itch, my itch. Yeah. All right, <laughs> all right. So that's yeah, that's. Photography is how I became a part of the Frog Pants Collective. Mm-hmm. I went and shot photos. The first one was Nerdtacular 2010. Yep. That's how I met met all you guys. Um, now, I've been shooting photos my whole life. My mom is retired now, but she was a high school art teacher, and one of the classes she taught was black and white photography. So I've been in the darkroom since I was like 10 years old, um, processing film and photos and stuff. Had an awful lot of practice. And I've been using it a lot in the last 10 years with my props and costumes. Uh, but recently, I've gotten back into the hobby just kind of for fun. Uh, I bought a new camera. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nothing will make I, you get back into photography like buying a new camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now I already have lots of cameras. Um, didn't, you know, didn't need another camera. But hear me out. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got the Sony A7R 3 oh. and I got it specifically for shooting still photos. Mm. Now, this camera, um, all cameras now shoot photos and video, right? They, yeah. they can do both. It's not that hard, I guess. Right. But this one, the settings and the features are specifically tailored for shooting still photos. Hmm. Uh, it has a larger full frame sensor um, and a bunch of different settings that are make more sense for for stills sure Uh, it will shoot video and it does look very very good but my plan is to shoot lots of still photos sure that camera Um, by the way real good uh streaming uh quality streaming camera as well mm -hmm. that thing's awesome oh yeah works out of the box which is nice because usually have to jump through a bunch of hoops with either lensless or or not uh, mirrorless or otherwise they're usually just a giant pain but that one is just like awesome out of the box it's great very cool yeah so um, I want one of the things I want to shoot more of is wildlife. 
uh, I love animals. We love going to zoos. Uh, so I've been practicing lately by shooting photos of the hummingbirds that come to the hummingbird feeder outside oh, of our living room. Yeah. If you uh, if you head over to my Twitter, twitter.com slash chinbeard, uh, you'll see I've been posting photos of hummingbirds. And uh, I've been trying to do like one every day, but, you know, sometimes hummingbirds don't show up. So I've been posting a bunch of those lately. Do you hit? They're, they're uh, amazing. Tina, you... uh, yeah. Tina saw them on Facebook and, and immediately said, "Brian, you've got to look at these." And yeah. I was floored by how good they are. Are you are you catching so, them like mid wing and stuff like that? Like, how's the camera I'm, doing that? Like, like you know, I'm not having getting a blur. getting what I can. They're they're really squirrely. Yeah, <laughs> they're really twitchy. They're really skittish. They also um, compete for the the feeder. Um, only usually only one at a time will be by the feeder. So one of them will be eating, and another one will sh- you know show up and shove him away to to take it. So it's it's tricky. But basically, when we're at the couch, like if if uh, so, like Saturday morning, we're sitting at the couch watching TV or playing video games or whatever. From the couch, I can see the feeder, and if a bird shows up, actually, I'll leave my camera right next to the feeder by the window, and mm-hmm. when a bird shows up, I'll sneak over turn on the camera and then try and take a photo of them. Mm. Uh, and it's, it's working. It's tricky. Uh, most of the photos are blurry. Most of them, the, <laughs> they move a little bit. They blink. Um, they twitch or they try and fly or they fly away. And so most of the shots are blurry. Or sometimes I'll take a photo and the bird's just gone. It's just a blurry shot of the background. But occasionally, they come out really good. Well, you do. I mean... Normally, when you see shots like that where you've frozen in time their wings or whatever, it's usually some high speed camera that's just like, yeah, yeah, pull out of the frame. Um, I'm not shooting fast enough to catch that. I, I'm struggling with light, I don't have any um lights out there, so I'm I'm at the the will of the, the sun and the clouds, and it's winter in Seattle, so not a ton of light. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm shooting at like one five hundredth of a second, which is still pretty quick, but not quick enough to pause their wings in midair. Their wings move so fast. Yeah, they're little freaks, is what they are. They are Those damn birds. Uh, I've been watching. Uh, actually, there was a documentary on Netflix I watched about hummingbirds that was pretty fascinating. Really? Wait, there's oh, one yeah. just about hummingbirds? Oh yeah. Oh, I kind of want to cool. see that. <laughs> I don't know why. So, I, could, I do, but I do anyway. Right now, I've been shooting with a macro lens. I got the Sony 90 millimeter f 2.8 macro. Um, and when I'm shooting pictures of the hummingbirds, the lens is almost touching the glass of the window. I'm that close. And the birds are only maybe six or seven inches away from that. So I'm way up in their grill. And uh, not a lot of lenses can focus that close. Mm-hmm. But macro lenses are designed to do that. So I can focus really close on their tiny little adorable faces. I love that. Uh, and I try lenses. I try to get their eyes in focus. That seems to be the goal of most uh, animal photos. Get their eyes in focus. It's, it's mm-hmm. tricky. With a macro lens, when you're that close, the depth of field is like three millimeters thin. It's, mm-hmm. it's so razor thin. It's hard to even get the whole bird in focus. You ever want to do insects? Um... I've considered taking photos of them, yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> because they are trippy when you get up nice and close, man. The yeah. stuff yeah, you see are. coming off yeah. of those guys. Whew, weird. I got a photo of a little tiny little jumping spider recently that was pretty good. That's cool. Yeah, and a little um like a tiny little inchworm I saw. I don't think I posted that anywhere, but there are bugs. Bugs are everywhere. If you want to take photos of bugs, good uh, uh good news <laughs> yeah it's very, everywhere it's yep. almost one of those things where far away oh that's that's a that's you know not great that bug it's like kind of freaks you out then there you get a little bit closer it's like oh that's really cool but then you get even closer it's like no that's freaking me out again yeah yep, yep, yeah, yeah yep. they have different levels of freak out it's like a bad neighborhood from a plane looks okay <laughs> right. when they're about the size yeah, of a toy yeah. but then if you pull out yeah. too far it looks like a nightmare and if you're way in there it's awful like it's exactly yeah, the same exactly There's i'm looking like at a this sweet fly. spot where bugs yeah, are yeah. these bugs yeah. get tiny, hair tiny and things, stuff we forget yeah. tiny critters like i took a photo of some small crabs we were, we were out at the beach a few days ago mm. these mm-hmm. little crabs are like i don't know two centimeters wide they're really really tiny uh, and you don't notice just from the human eye looking up really close at them you don't notice that they have little hairs on them mm-hmm. tiny things tiny critters covered in weird little hairs yeah 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 and you don't yeah. want to know it 
<laughs> no, you don't. Uh, hummingbirds, by the way, if you look really close at their eye, they have t- they don't really have eyelashes so much, but they do have tiny little feathers that circle their eye. Mm. Oh, really? Really interesting. Yeah, you absolutely cannot see it with your eye, mm-hmm. but they have these tiny little um, feather eyelashes. They're really cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Oh, now, are you chill. taking your pictures like on a tripod with a remote, or are you you holding it? to take a picture of them that's steady for for these i'm holding it so there's a there's a couch right by the window and i can put the Mm -hmm. camera on the couch and it's aimed pretty much at the bird feeder Mm -hmm. and then um i will kind of hide behind it so the birds don't see me as much (laughs) and i look at the uh, the lcd screen and i aim the camera at their faces and try and take their picture so i'm sitting there holding it Mm. so that i can move the camera a little bit Mm -hmm. um i'm so close that if if they're not in frame, uh, then I'll just cut off half their head. And so I have to be able to move the camera to be able to frame them in the shot. That's how mm. that's how freaking close I am with that. Wow, that that's ninety cool. millimeter lens, yeah. So it's how often do they flee in terror when you're that close? Oh, to them? It's con- it's just constantly. <laughs> yeah, there's so many photos of like the, the, the couch blind. <laughs> yeah, the the, the I have so many photos of the blurry backside of a hummingbird as it's skittering away or flying yeah. away there's another bird chased it or it saw me or saw one of the cats the cats love it yeah yeah oh of course yeah cats would eat that up mm-hmm. literally if they could uh one more one more trick i did so i wanted more light but there's no light coming from my direction from inside the house so i got a white piece of plastic this this white sheet of plastic that's a couple of feet wide and a couple of feet tall, and I cut a hole in it, and I mm-hmm. put it against the window so that I can fill, shoot through the hole. But when sunlight hits that white sheet of plastic, it bounces back and fills in the birds with more light. And that oh, actually seems to work of, pretty well. Yeah, that's mm. clever. Yeah, very yeah. cool. All right, well, very nice. And uh, a lot of the stuff I'm looking at your your account, your Twitter account, and I'm seeing a bunch of it there. So if you want to check out some of his photo work on this fancy new camera, make sure you check that out. Uh, Bill, you also leave us with a with a link every week. What do you have this week? I do. I've got a, a fun one. Uh, I'm going to post a link in the chat. Uh, if you look up this YouTube channel called uh, Nerd Forge, mm. um, they make a bunch of cool nerdy stuff. But recently, they made a bunch of leather armor, and it looks really cool. Ooh! Oh, look at that! Uh, yeah. Full on thing, patterning, cutting out, painting. Um, she made the leather look like metal, and she did a really good job of it. Let's see. I'm gonna skip ahead here a little bit and take a look at the finished product. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a lot of work. It is a super lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it looks amazing though. It yeah. does. Lots of rivets, uh, lots of straps and buckles and fur. It looks so cool. She looks like uh, what's her name? Sansa Stark or something. Maybe Mm -hmm. that's exactly who she's supposed to be. I don't know, but it looks amazing. Uh, Very cool. Go check that out. That's at uh, NerdForge on Mm -hmm. YouTube. And of course, you can find Punish Props at YouTube.com as well, as well as PunishProps.com, Chinbeard on Twitter. Bill, thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time. You got it. Bye Bye. now. Okay. That's really cool. God, these do look like metal. I know, right? Wow. They're pretty metal, man. Pretty metal. They look metal to me. All right, Steven Schleicher, major spoilers. Sure. Bringing him in. Yeah. Bringing him in. He's coming in. He's coming in hot. Boy, I got a little obsessed with these uh, up close insect uh, photos. I got to close all that out. A little, little disturbing, right? Ugh, some of them freaking me out. All right, check this out. Steven. Uh, when Kadalar Haas sings it, we know he's here. It's uh, Steven Schleicher joining us from Majorspoilers.com. And uh, you were gone last week because he had some stuff, but I, I don't know if you heard my review or my thoughts on uh, uh, Injustice, the Injustice comic series. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. It's so I good. You. I, it's I, I, so you know good. what? When I'm not on the morning stream, I actually do listen to the morning stream. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Unlike some just, people. I, you don't just listen to the parts you're in, right? Like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I love that series, though. I just wanted to reiterate yeah. it. It was so good. I didn't expect it at all. I thought it was going to be a dumb tie-in, and it's not. It's like, damn good. So anyway, if you're on the universe, you get the whole thing. If you're on Comixology, they have the first volume for, uh, or part of Unlimited, and then you got to buy the other stuff. But it's uh, it's really good. And Stephen, while I was at it, 
uh, when I finished that up, I ended up reading um, uh, 40K, the the new Marvel Warhammer oh, yeah, 40K yeah, the thing. Marvel one, yeah. I like it a lot. It's really good. I thought that was going to be a stupid tie-in, and it's not. It's good. What like, is it? Marvel 40K? Uh, called... Well, it's Marvel's the publisher, but it is the uh, Warhammer 40K. Oh, it's what is 40 it? Marcus Warhammer Aurelius 40K. or whatever okay. the, yeah. the guy's name is. Uh, Marvel War. Hold on. I'm going to find the title. Warhammer 40K. Okay, so this was called Marnius Calgar. Uh, yeah, that's it. Correct, Marnius Calgar, which sounds dumb, but if you're a fan of like the Warhammer stuff, you know that that sounds just perfectly normal for that world. Uh, At some everything... point, did they say Calgar, take me away? <laughs> no. Oh but darn. Okay. This comic really did. It surprised me how much I liked it, and the artwork reminded me of Mobius. Uh, a little bit, yeah. A little bit, and it was just. I thought it was great. I'm I'm now eagerly awaiting issue two. Uh, was surprised how much I liked it. Anyway, comics, man, they're the best. Cool. Hey, Stephen. Oh, uh, TV Zegon says that his high school friend uh, Jason is the artist behind that. Uh, oh no way! Uh, behind that series, that's he, really cool. He's really good, dude. His his style really lended itself to this thing, and it did. It just went deeper than the surfacey stuff because Warhammer can be seen as just a big, loud, warlike, you know. Rah! You know, without a lot of depth or whatever, but some of the books and novels are really cool. I love the world building that's in these things, and this comic does a really great job of setting up characters, and it's very, very cool. So uh, do check it out. All right, Stephen, enough of my comic book reading. Oh, yeah, let's let's talk about some other really hot comic book properties like Heroes Reborn. Yeah. <laughs> what? You mean remember, from the 90s, right? Remember that, remember that Heroes Reborn from the 90s there, Brian? Yeah. Yes. So, so for people that don't remember, it was this uh, way to reboot the Marvel Universe back in the 90s. And one of the weird things about it was they gave um, they gave Wildstorm comics with Jim Lee and they gave, I think Rob Liefeld was still over at Image at the time. But they gave the those properties over to those two mm -hmm. to spin out this whole Heroes Reborn series. And I think the only thing that people ever remember from the original Heroes Reborn <laughs> is Rob Liefeld's Captain America Captain picture. America. Yeah, that one picture he did of Captain America yeah. that we'll never forget. Well, guess what? Hmm. Heroes Reborn is back, baby. Oh, my oh, gosh. So this all came, this was all after the big, um, what was the name of that big? Oh, the original uh, Heroes Reborn came yeah. after Onslaught. Yeah, Onslaught. So the big character, the big Onslaught character wiped out a majority of the Marvel Universe. And so mm -hmm. they, they relaunched all these titles as number ones and... Oh yeah. So it was, says here this was... is going to imagine a world where Tony Stark never built Iron Man, Thor is a hard drinking atheist, uh, Wakanda is dismissed as a myth, and Captain America was never found in ice. So basically, the Avengers don't exist. Right. Mm -hmm. And so in return, we get the uh, the Squadron Supreme who take on the Black Skull, the Silver Witch, Thanos and his Infinity Rings, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess some of the heroes. <laughs> one of the images that they sent out is uh, what is what is Juggernaut's name? Doctor Juggernaut. So mm -hmm. it's like Doctor Doom meets Juggernaut. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's got the green. Yeah. The the silver armor with the green accent. See, this is yeah. basically this is an old trick in comics, right? Like I I am the other comic I am reading. I'm not done with it, but is that Batman Year One? Uh, Jeff Johns did with uh, I forget the artist. He's really good. Though. But anyway, it's basically like, hey, what if Alfred was, uh, what if he was uh, Bruce Wayne's dad's friend yeah. from the from the war from Desert yeah. Storm? Like, yeah, like it, it, they really flip shit around and cobble pots the mayor and you know like just weird ideas like that. That's one of these again, right? That's what we're doing. What if? Oh sure, and I, I think it's a way to you know we've seen this with House of M, we've seen this with you know any kind of big. Uh, no more mutants kind of thing where we have to totally wipe the slate clean and then we reintroduce people in some new exciting way and hope to get uh, everyone excited. In fact, uh, DC Comics is doing, I wouldn't say the same thing as this, but their future state, which goes on until March, mm -hmm. is what if we jump ahead, you know, X number of years and there's all new heroes to to uh, wear the costumes and do the things. And so, you know, this is a thing where apparently Blade is the only one who remembers the before times and is gathering together a team of uh, people to come and figure out what is so, going on and put uh, order back to the universe. Okay. So he's he's taking the oh who was it before it was uh, Bishop well, was the was one of them where Bishop remembered the original. Yeah, and if you're uh, going as far back, if you go far back as Crisis on Infinite Earth, Psycho Pirate was one that could remember all the alternate uh, <laughs> right. all the alternate timelines. Wow, oh, I love oh that God. they're sticking it. They're sticking it with him. That that Blade is the only one. Blade, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. It's hilarious. There's some interesting teasers that went out last week of, of some of these. I like the one that has Mr. Fantastic and Ben Grimm, and they're dressed as agents from S.H.I.E.L.D., except Ben Grimm, of course, isn't isn't the thing. He's just, you know, a dude in a, in a, a dude. S.H.I.E.L.D. costume. Yeah. yeah. You're never going to see these what ifs really truly hit cinematic level, right? Like you're never going to see a movie about. I mean, there's a whole animated series coming up called What If. Yeah, yeah and that's and true. don't forget, I mean, didn't uh, Spider Ham, uh, yeah. Spectacular Spider Ham, start out in a What If kind of thing? Yeah, I think as a What If or one of the alternate, you know, universe yeah. uh, kind and of we, things. Yeah, and we yeah. Got him and Spider Verse. Spider-verse. And Spider Verse is uh-huh. basically playing on the the multiple earths. Mm-hmm. By the way, the before someone yeah. emails me, we could me. see multi multi uh, multiverse of madness bring in some kind of What If business. Sure. Mm-hmm. Before mm-hmm. people send me emails with corrections, I meant Earth One, not Year One for Batman. That's what I'm reading right now. Yeah, Earth One is a really cool series for people to check out. Yeah. Um, the newest one, I think it's Earth One Year Two for Green Lantern, which I believe is also a Grant Morrison gig that people should check out. And these are just reimaginings of, you know, these DC heroes in alternate timelines. They have uh, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern mm-hmm. are the four that are out right now. And they each have multiple volumes. The interesting thing about those and why we don't talk about them that often is because they usually are not marketed direct towards comic shops, mm. but rather they're marketed towards bookstores, which is where they've had their their huge um, sales numbers and why the Batman one is in, wound up on the New York Times bestselling list for multiple times. But of course, there's always issues with the bestseller list at New York Times. Sure. Well, I'm really enjoying it, but I'm but a part of me is also going are they just going to, I mean, alternate Earth stuff, like where, oh, we're on Earth 3. That means on uh, Wonder Woman has two heads in this pl- you know, Right, timeline. exactly. Well, like, actually, Earth 3 is where everyone is evil. <laughs> right, exactly. So I guess this is just yeah. part of this is the staple of comics. This is what we do, and it's fine. But I, sometimes I wonder if they rely on that too much to get people mm-hmm. hyped. DC especially, I think, does that a lot uh, because they're like, oh, our continuity is so out of whack and we can't keep introducing these multiple Earths just so we can reset the the age or the origin of our superheroes so we can get these young readers involved. Right. And then at some point, like with Crisis on Infinite Earths, they try to clean it up, but they only create bigger problems in the case of Hawkman and, uh, and Batman and Superman. Sure. Well, Hawkman, no stranger to messing things up. I said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so be on the lookout for uh, Heroes Reborn coming out in April. Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, Heroes Reborn number one, sorry, arrives in May. Sorry. Uh, Jason Aaron, writer, artist, Ed McGinnis. I like him. He's mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been, lately, it's weird. I've been searching for comics on based on artists more than writers, which surprised mm. me. Except for the writer of Injustice, who now I'm totally hooked on that dude. I love his writing. I went and read yeah. something else he did. I uh, forgot what it was, but uh, he's great. What a what a surprise that ended up being for me. Yeah, I mean when when John Byrne took over Superman, I followed him over there at DC and started getting mm-hmm. that series because uh, there are some some writers you just like. Oh, I want more from this guy, um, M- uh, Mark Millar with um, the Authority. I got mm-hmm. huge into the Authority just after reading his work on X Men. I was like, oh, I've got oh, to yeah. follow him over over to here. This I always, yeah. I always meant to read that. How was that the Authority? Uh, very gruesome yeah, um, I'm down. and really but really really cleverly written who published it Wildstorm I need to it's a Wildstorm DC, and a DC yeah. still does DC to an extent thing. when Vertigo was around they still had it but a lot of those characters have been wrapped into ongoing continuity Midnighter and mm-hmm. uh, yeah I gotta look that Sun up Sun Man or whatever his name was this is one I saw back in the day and went oh I'll be checking that out and then I just totally forgot about mm-hmm. it so. well Scott maybe you can now that DC Universe has become DC Universe Infinite wait did that That's happen right. when did that happen Begin summer 2021. Oh, all right. Well, that was. I keep waiting for that to happen. I keep going there, and it says, "Check out our TV shows." I'm like, "You buttholes! You're not even going to have <laughs> yeah. this." I don't want to watch Arrow. What are you talking about? Yeah, I've got I've got HBO Max. Give me something. I just want comics or whatever, and I still use it, and it's still cheap, and it's fine. But um, I was I keep hoping that rollover sooner than it is, but I guess it isn't. We got to wait. Yeah, they have a plan for this summer, so be on the lookout for that. And I think it's actually sooner than. What we're seeing on some of the other infinite uh, subscription lists, I want to say it's only three months out mm. as opposed to the six months out. But okay. uh, they've got their full slate of uh, debut comics and everything uh, looking for that. In Oh, it says G- DC Universe Infinite will launch January 21st, 2021. Whoa! So, um, that yeah. means it's out, right? Yeah, yeah, it should be out by now. All right, I'll go look. <laughs> I'm in the mood for, like, gritty DC comics right now. I just am in the mood. Yeah. So... 
I'm going to go dig in. All right. Um, finally, well, Invincible. Did you, did you oh. watch uh, any WandaVision, by the way, Scott? Still haven't. Still trying okay. to get my wife and my daughter to have the schedule I want them to Sync have. Up, syncing up their schedules? Yeah, syncing up their, mm-hmm. their, their schedules, yes. <laughs> and so today, we're, we're aiming for tonight. If somehow it can happen after ANTP tonight, that's what we're going to do. Cool. Uh, if it doesn't work out, then I don't know what I'm watching. I may just watch it because I'm sick of waiting for everybody to sync mm-hmm. up. So. 30 minute episodes, you can blow through three of them very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. So I keep telling them, I'm like, you guys were only going to be sitting here for like an hour and a half. We got this. They're like, mm-hmm. well, I just got And they're the going to be super this. glad they did. Yeah. Chat I room. think so. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, okay, Steven, hold on now. What's your take the on more this you so get, far? The more you get to binge on that show, I think the better off you are. But let me, uh-huh. I'll let you. Yeah, what do you think so far? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything about it. Although I, you know, I will say that uh, for those people that are like nostalgic for old time, you know, comedy and history of television type stuff, this sh- this show is steeped in that. Mm-hmm. But there's just this whole sinister aspect of the show that in the first episode when the boss comes to dinner, there's a moment where it just gets seriously creepy, yeah. and then you're like, oh yeah, okay, this world is not right. And then it continues on to the second and third episodes. And then, you know, a little bit more of what's going on is revealed in each episode. So I think there's that building moment. Um, This is one where I kind of wish they would, instead of doing one a week, that they would do two episodes Mm -hmm. a week. Just because I think that the, what is, uh, what's uh, J.J. Abrams' mystery box can only go so far before people get fed up with it. And I'm getting a lot of lost vibes in this. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, that, that's, that was the thing that turned Tina off of uh, Legion. Oh, is yeah. That, that whole, all right, what's in the mind, what's not in the mind, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Um, I think there's, this This does it far better, I think, than Legion. But um, yeah, yeah. But if they don't start giving her a little bit more. <laughs> well, I think, the, I think the end of episode three yes. gives a bigger picture of what's going on, if only for a second or two. Mm. Um, but yeah. uh, I, I, I'm hoping that this week's episode really kind of says, OK, we need to go outside of this television world a little bit more and see right. what's going on. Here's my here's my biggest my chief concern that the sh- that the. I haven't seen it, so this isn't a spoiler because I don't know. I have no idea because I haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. But if this whole thing turns out, we all know what happened at the end of Endgame or the end of Infinity War. Mm -hmm. Um, Vision is, in the MCU, Vision is gone after that. Mm -hmm. So so is he even there? And are they going to get to the end of this and just make me sad that the whole thing was not, he was just never involved, like there is no Vision? That's going to piss me off. So there's one of two things that are happening here. Either there's some nefarious plot to do something with one of the characters, Mm -hmm. or this is um, the tragic way in which people cope with loss. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm theorizing. Maybe. Yeah. And if they do it right, then I I guess I'm in, but, you know, just nervous about it. Let's plan on a spoilery discussion of this for um, for Steven Schleicher time next Monday, because hopefully Scott will have watched... All of them, including all four episodes. Four episodes yeah. by then. And um, Benjamin says, I've got, that, I've got theories and I really want to talk about them. Benjamin Benj says, and Dice Tomato and some others are all saying that this is all answered in House of M. I, I don't think, I mean, I know a lot yeah. of people are like, hey, let's all point to the only Wanda big event series and the only Vision <laughs> big event series to ever say. And that's where they're drawing inspiration from. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little bit, but I'm not so sure. Okay. Well, yeah, I, we, I'm exactly. We will return to this discussion after yeah. we've all seen it. Maybe I mean, if people a... want to go and read House of M, go ahead. Mm-hmm. It's not a super great event. I mean, it's interesting. <laughs> We're talking about Heroes Reborn. Well, it's here's Heroes, House of M. Right. Mm-hmm. It's Heroes Reborn with uh, mutants, basically. Yeah. 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 And then if you want to go and read the other one that people are pointing to, it is uh, The Visions, I believe is the name of the series, where it's basically The Vision is in a um, suburban community, which is really turns out to be a prison for... Um, uh, certain um, people with powers. Mm. Mm-hmm. Did the vision vision came from Jarvis in the comics as well, or is that just MCU? Uh, no, it came from Ultron. Right. So that's yeah. different then, because mm-hmm. in- yeah, it's kind of almost a reversal of how he came to be in the MCU because it was reversed, right? Yeah. Uh, Ultron kind of spawned from from Vision. Uh, in the MCU and it's kind of flipped uh, flipped the other way. Yeah, in, and I know that stuff's not, you know, MCU's its own thing and it's always been that way, but I I never read anything about his origin story in the comics, so I was always I always wondered, like, if that was the same. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an Ultron. He was an Ultron creation. Yeah, mm-hmm. interesting. Alright, well, I miss Jarvis. 
Uh, what's the point of that, though? Where was I going with that? Oh, hey, and the incredible <laughs> animated series we've talked about a number of times. We, we, uh, we have a debut. It's happening in March. Oh, yeah. Yeah, March 26th, yeah. we will get the first three episodes of the Invincible uh, animated series on Amazon. And then every week after that, for five more weeks, we'll get the remaining uh, episodes in the eight uh, episode uh, series, first se- season. I'm excited. Uh, really excited to see how they how they do this. Is it going to be as and bloody what a, as that? What coming? a voice cast. I know. The, the cast just keeps getting longer and longer and longer Steven every time Yoon. you look at it. Yeah. yeah. Steven Yoon from Walking Dead, J.K. Simmons as uh, Invincible and his dad, Tommy Zachary Man. Quinto, yeah. Seth Rogen, Gillian Jacobs, Zazie Beetz, Mark yeah. Hamill, Walton Goggins. Yeah. Ooh, Walton Goggins. Sweet. Walton Goggins. Yeah. Shane. Clancy Get in Brown. There. Yeah. Clancy Jason Brown. Manzoukas, who I yep. love. Clancy I mean, Brown's it is just the, uh, it is just a huge list of people, and as this, if this does get a second season, which I suspect it will, yeah. mm-hmm. um, the list will get even longer because the number of characters. If this, if the first season ends where I suspect the first season ends, which would be the end of the first twelve issues of Invincible, yeah. um, then the world just opens up after that, and there are so many other characters um, introduced. Totally. Do we know anything about its rating as far as, like, if it's going to be... Oh, I'm pretty sure this is... I'm pretty sure this is going to be adults only because there's a lot of blood and guts just in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Excellent. Yeah, I'm going to watch the trailer as soon as we're done Yeah, I don't want this watered down at all. I don't want that. No, no. Uh, That was just the most shocking thing about that series was how quickly things went awry. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that, and then Ryan Otley, who is the became the primary artist on the series, he likes to get bloody. If somebody gets punched mm-hmm. and, you know, when you're a superpower that uh mm-hmm. has a doesn't hold back, uh he's it's not uncommon to see, you know, intestines and and uh eyeballs flying at the screen and uh brain matter scattering all, uh, all across somebody's fist, that kind of stuff. That's yeah, so. what you hire that guy for. Um yeah. real yeah, quick, yeah. Uh, the, that's I why just, he's doing Spider-Man. I just want to say that I think the 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 casting of J.K. Simmons as that character is perfect. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's perfect. I can already <laughs> when I read that comic, I was already hearing a voice like J.K. Simmons' voice in my head. Like it's yeah, perfect, dead perfect. I can't wait. And, All right, so Mark, and so that puts and that puts J.K. Simmons in both Marvel and DC movies, and uh, now. Yeah. Uh, and now, image comic uh, TV series. I mean, is there mm-hmm. is there a comic property that we can't fit J.K. Simmons in? I don't think so. I don't think so either. He can do it all. Uh, we'd have to find something over at Boom or IDW at this Boom point. Boom Studios, drummer man mm-hmm. with the if voice can, of J.K. Can, Simmons. Mm-hmm. If they can get him in a Transformer series or a My Little Pony series, he would be uh, IDW would have him covered there. There you go. Yeah. So yep. yeah. Yeah. He's got some TV show on right now. I want to see. Everyone says it's great. And I haven't watched. Uh, Oh, is that the one with the um, He's a, alternate dimension version? Yes. I think that one's it's been one where... done for a couple of years, maybe. Oh, he's it's, also oh, rumored. Yeah, to... No, that absolutely is. Yeah, that one we Tina and I watched. And uh, boy, you can that's a show where, you again, you cannot be doing anything else while you're watching it. Mm-hmm. Counterpart, you uh, have to be watching it. It was that. excellent. Uh, There's he's another in... series he's in where he's a uh, an Allstate agent. And um, he's taking... <laughs> They're really short episodes, insurance. though. Those episodes yeah, are really like three uh, minutes shorts. Or less. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know if I like the format. Live uh, action shorts. He's in Morbius, I guess. Oh, he's as farmers, isn't it? <laughs> or, no, more. The Morbius thing is still rumored, but he's supposed to be in Morbius as well. As uh, as J. Jonah Jameson, it no, would make sense. I, I don't know. It didn't say. It just says rumored to be. Well, in I there. mean, that's that's part of his. That's part of the Marvel Sony joint. Um, Oh, is it? Is Morbius not a? That's a Sony. That is a Sony thing, isn't it? You're right. Sony thing, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna, it's gonna be. uh, Well, there you have it. Uh, Also delayed. Which is fine. Also delayed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 2022 now, right? Lesbius is basically what we're what we're getting. Yes. Not Morbius, but Lesbius. Lesbius. Until 20, 2022 <laughs> seems to be the year they're all Very carefully for phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> the Isle of Lesbius. Hey, Stephen, it's been a pleasure. Uh, what else do you got going on there at the Major Spoilers Network people should know about? Uh, I'll be shoveling out about seven inches of snow here shortly. But otherwise, people can head over to the Major Spoilers website. Check out all the podcasts that we have. We have everything from Dungeons & Dragons, uh, comic book news and reviews. Uh, we have interview shows. We have so much. You can find out the complete listing over at Majorspoilers.com. Fantastic. Steven, uh, you stay hydrated. We'll see you next time. I will. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs>
You know, he didn't he didn't sneak it in, so I had to sneak it in. Yeah, you did it for him. Nice. All right. We have a thing to do here. Yes. A 10-year mashup. This how 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 long is this thing? Ten should I get a should years, I get a chair? 10 years long. So it's 10 years long. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you're going to have right, to really a, get a chair. Down. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. I'm going to pee first if that's all right. Uh, <laughs> we got an email to go with it. This is from Jamie. It says dear Scrote and Beans. Uh, five years ago, I started listening to TMS, instantly fell in love with the show and the daily dose of laughs that came with it. Scott and Brian became my favorite people to have been in between my ears, uh, and I went back and listened to the entire back catalog. Today marks the 10th anniversary of my favorite podcast, and with it, the best community I've ever had the pleasure of being a part of. I talk about the hosts of this show as if they were friends and I see that I see in, a, in person every day. Well, we are your friends. You just don't see us in person mm-hmm. every day. Yeah. Uh, what lies before you is the culmination of 10 years of fantastic content by a couple of chuckleheads that bring me in the entire tadpole much joy each and every day. Enjoy this trip down memory lane as we celebrate 10 years of the morning stream together. TMS mashups, Jamie. Well, that was really Aww. nice for you to send that, Jamie. Thank you for that. Here's the bummer. YouTubers, you're not going to hear this because we're going to Oh, get really? The is there stuff band. in here that can't be... Uh... Yep, I have to pause the video. But the audio, I don't. Aww. And the live people are getting it regardless. Even Good. if Twitch comes Good. after me. And they probably won't. But, but anyway, we're, we're going to do it because he really wanted to use what he got. So here we go. It's got I a little love, propeller heads action. Yeah, there. I love that. That is song. fantastic. That was really great. And I wasn't sure, I wasn't 100% sure that was a voice modulated Fletcher at the beginning, but <laughs> right. I'm glad all that came out in the end. That was uh, awesome. So good. And the origination of so many things, right? The mm-hmm. red on air light, Pumba. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> That was great. I was, I was, uh, well, no I thought we were, we didn't listen to this beforehand because we don't ever do that. No. But no, I was worried it was going to be, not worried, but I thought it was going to be just clips like you and me, like always, like for these mashups. Like our regular Monday morning mashups. Yeah. yeah. But instead, this was a great way to like parade all the people out who, who join us all the time and showcase them a little bit. And it was, that was great. I loved that. Loved it. Oh my it. God. So, so good. Yeah. And, uh, um, there's I'm, well, where's his there it is there it is right there i was trying to find his um his store he's got an online store if you want to check out he's got his logo stuff but he also um has uh t-shirts with the 10 year anniversary mashup design that i did for him that are available i think as stickers or uh what's the address uh, t-shirt that's what i'm finding where is it it is this is good. This is good that I had this ready. Uh-huh. <coughs> I was too too busy enjoying what he put together. Right. No, this is I thought it was sign. in this first email that the the favor, please. I oh, there it is. Right. Nope, that's not. That's it. not it. I thought it was as well. I'm looking as well. Um, I don't see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know. I've got it on my iPad because I was looking at it last night. Sure. Uh, it is. Yeah, I don't see it. I can't find it. Well, anyway. Um, okay, hold on. Oh, I got it. All right. Oh, I can, well, it's on T Public. It redirects me to T Public. Oh, well, what's the what's the original forwarding address? That's what I'm. That's what I'm looking for because I was looking at my history and it's just T Public. I'll bet you can get it on TMSMashups.com. There's a link, right? <laughs> oh yes, this, do, TMSMashups.com. Yeah, Go there. do that. Holy Go to cow. TMSMashups.com and uh, get 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 it on. <laughs> We found it. We've done it. We did it. We're We've really... kind of pumbed his his, uh, his address. <laughs> that seems appropriate after that mashup. Jeez. Uh, hey, way to go, Jamie. That was rad. Uh, we loved it. Really and good. way to go, everybody, for being here for as long as you have. A bunch of you have been here since day one, and and we love you for it. Uh, we hope you continue to den- to enjoy the show. And everybody who's come lately, even if you're brand new, uh, welcome, and thanks for being here. Thanks for all your support at patreon.com slash TMS. Yeah. Uh, please head over there and check it out if you have not yet, because there's cool stuff to get for supporting your favorite morning show. The Morning Stream at gmail.com is our email address. And you can find everything else at frogpants.com slash TMS. Okay, Brian, we should go away with a song again. I think we should. And this one's going out to uh, Desiree, a.k.a. Brainbow Bright in the chat room, who created these fantastic puppet versions of uh, me and Scott. Oh, I love them. Uh, and Jury. 
Yep. We have uh, we have puppet versions of us. Yep. Um, she's fantastic. And uh, she said, last year I was very depressed when my birthday came around as I was turning an age that I will not mention. I was so down that I decided to skip my birthday and celebrate it instead in 2021. So I'm celebrating last year's birthday this year, and I'll be turning 39 plus. Brian, please play me something fun. Anything Beyonce related would be awesome. Okay, I will. Mm. First of all, happy birthday, Brainbow Bright. AJ, nothing but a number. Just yep. remember that. That's true. Uh, and uh, this is <laughs> this is a lot of fun. This is a bluegrass band called the Cleverlies. Um, they are like your traditional. I picture them sitting in front of a hee haw set with washboard players and all that stuff, and their amazing cover of "Single Ladies Put a Ring on It." Here are the Cleverlies covering Beyonce. See you guys tomorrow. This show is part of the Frog Pants Network. Frog Pants Network. Get more shows like this at frogpants.com. Riggs! Oh, Riggs. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah.